We are very excited to show off our next big feature initiative here at Synchro, and that involves significant updates to our OS patching functionality. So let's go ahead and take a peek at what that looks like. The first thing we did was drastically improve the granularity you have in terms of what you want to install, and more importantly, how you want to install it. Previously, we had fixed categories that were effectively all or nothing. Now we've separated both security patches, which are broken down by severity, and quality patches, which are broken down by category, each with their own dedicated approval settings. Approve is exactly what you'd expect. If you flag a severity or a category as approved, these patches will be installed during your next scheduled install cycle. Reject effectively tells the system to never install this type of patch, and a common category where this often occurs is drivers. Now, Manual basically tells Synchro that these patches do not need to be rejected, but they aren't going to install automatically either. Patch types assigned to the manual approval setting can be installed directly from an asset record or through one of our Windows patching reports. And finally, we have Defer. Defer is functionally identical to Approve, but it adds a customizable deferment period that must expire before that type of patch can be installed. For example, here I'm telling this Windows patch policy to go ahead and approve any security patches flagged as critical, but do not install any other type of security patches until my two-week deferment period has expired. This allows you to take action if a bad patch is detected before it's been deployed to your fleet globally. Now what type of action can you take? Well, another major improvement to Synchro's OS patching capabilities is the ability to block specific patches by KB. Here you can see that we've blocked this specific KB at the policy level. Any asset which includes this OS patching policy will now prevent this specific KB from installing, which will supersede any and all other rules. Now what happens if a specific patch has gone so poorly that you need to block it across every policy? We didn't want you wasting time adding it to every single individual policy, so we've added a page in our admin settings to manage exclusions at the global level. And this button, here, will quickly navigate to that management page. Any KBs added here will show up on each and every existing policy, as well as any new policies you create from that point forward. Deleting KBs from the page will simply reverse the process, removing them from each policy. For added convenience, you'll be able to see any and all global exclusions while configuring your OS patching policies here. We've made a few small updates to asset records as well. Besides showing sections for missing patches and recently installed patches, we're now exposing any patches which are not installed because their severities or categories have been flagged as rejected, as well as any patches that failed to install for one reason or another. Lastly, we've added a new security permission which will allow installing patches which have otherwise been flagged as rejected. Typically, when issues with a patch have been resolved and deemed safe to install, you most likely want to test that theory. So instead of removing the KB from the global exclusion list and hoping for the best, technicians with this permission enabled can choose a few assets to individually install this patch onto before rolling it out to their fleet globally. So that's what's coming with Synchro's new OS patch management capabilities.